Games Voice presents an action investigation game, an open world inspired by the universe of H.P. Lovecraft. This is The Sinking City. You will be a detective, but it's not so simple like in other projects. You will not get any help from the game, no straightforward tasks, no objectives on the map to follow. The game will not tell you how to solve quests. You should decide where to go and what to do. But let me start from the beginning. 1920s United States, Oakmont, Massachusetts. The mysterious city was caught up by the supernatural flood, monsters and madness. Nobody knows why water is not going away. This disaster swallowed a lot of citizens. But people don't want to leave this place. And the big question of why new arrivals are still coming. Like our main character Charles W. Reed, US Navy sailor and Great War veteran, who later turned his career into a private investigator. Charles, like many war veterans, have nightmarish visions, but his sights look different. Sometimes he can't understand. Is he sleeping or not? Is it reality or dream? What's going on in his head and why? Our main character gets back a letter with an answer from the man of science Johannes Vanderberg from Oakmont City that he probably stumbled upon the source of Charles' ailment and know a person who might help with it. Charles should come to Sinking City if he wants to get the answers. And he did that. Our detective traveled from Boston to Oakmont, met Johannes, got instructions from him and went to meet Robert Frogmorton, who can help him with visions. This guy is well known in the city and looks different, how he says. Frogmorton family is most developed and he is the first human of a new generation. Frogmorton's son disappears and nobody knows what happened to him. My son Albert is missing and no one in this Innsmouth ridden city will do a damn thing. But yes. Let's talk about your dreams. Charles met Frogmorton and they made a deal that Charles will help to find his son and Frogmorton will help Charles with his visions. And here a story begins. Like a private investigator, you will explore the city and crime scenes. As the game will not help you, you should look for clues by yourself. Some evidence will be easy to spot, some will ask you a more in-depth look. Mr. Reed is not just a pure human being. He has all these crazy dreams and he is not a stranger to paranormal. He has some unique vision skills. One of it called retrocognition, which let us to see beyond the curtains. It will help us understand what happened in the past. It represents a blue bar, sanity meter, in the bottom left corner. If it goes low, you will start to get insane. If you will see a disturbing monsters, dead people, the blood, you will have insanity attack also. Your vision blurs and you will start to see not normal things. You need to wait some time while it regenerates again. Our detective has one more trick, concentration mode. It let you see things which usually can be seen by regular people. And if you want to get more information about events, you should speak with people. Visit different institutions in the city, look into old archives and records. Various institutions provided different knowledge. Detectives not only look for clues and collect evidence, which you can examine your casebook at any time, by the way. After all, you need to connect all the information, try out different theories and understand what happened. In this situation, we need to use the Mind Palace. If you played Sherlock Holmes before, you know what I'm talking about. But in Sinking City is not true or false, right or wrong answers. Here you will see different shades of black. And when you decide to accuse someone in a crime, man. Better be sure and think twice. We don't want to destroy people's lives, do we? This city is not usual. With a flood, different monsters appeared into this area. To fight them, we have weapons like revolvers, shotguns, tommy guns. The problem is that we don't have a lot of ammunition over here and need to save bullets. But you can look after crafting material and craft some additional bullets. In conclusion, try to avoid monsters and save your ammunition if it's possible. We have an skill tree in the game. By playing it, killing monsters, solving cases, you are collecting experience 
experience and knowledge points. Later you can upgrade your character in combat proficiency, vigor and mind. That definitely will help you to solve harder cases and fight stronger enemies. Few more things about the game. Some parts of the city are flooded, some not. In flooded areas you can use a boat for traveling. Citizens in this city are some kind of mixture of human and animals. Part of a sinking city is moral choices. Some of them have consequences, and by acting in one or another way, you can make your life easier or tougher in this not-so-friendly place for arrivals. What happened to this city? How good a detective are you? Can you imagine to solve the case of your life, fight paranormal creatures and go through your madness at the same time? We will get an answer on the 27th of June. If you wanna buy this game, I left a link in the description. If you buy the game through my link, you will support my channel. Thank you guys for watching this video, if you like it, push like button. And after that, go to watch my previous videos, link in description. And, and if you want to get notifications about my new uploads, subscribe to my channel and ring a bell. Good luck in this sinking city, write how good detectives are you in the comment section and see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye-bye.